Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is now we are going to work with our Exchange front-end server. We are going to install um, front-end server. So if we happen to look into our lab, so right now we are done with our node 1 and node 2 cluster um, and we are also done with our configuration and we are able to send email in and out of our domain so the next thing now that we are focusing on is the front end server Alright, so then the server is up, so we'll do Control Alt Insert and we'll log in for the first time. So I have already installed VMware tool. The next thing that I'm going to do is give it an IP. One ninety two, one sixty eight, and it's going to be one dot eleven. The fall gateway is Vyata one dot four, and one dot three is our DNS. All right, so now. Um, let me enable remote. I have already enabled remote. So now I can log in to 1.11. I'll put in the password. And also, I will check the host name if it's the correct host name, so that I can join it to domain. That's FE. That that is what I want. Now I can join the server to our domain. Right, so we'll reboot the server. All right, so now the server is up. So we'll log in back and this time as domain admin. And so now we can install our exchange server over here. So for that We will run the setup.
Oh, one more thing that I don't remember if I've done is the installation for an NTP and SMTP service and IIS and all those things. So let us check that. Okay, I haven't done that. So let us do that first. ASP, DDC, IIS, um, NNTP, SMTP. Okay. Okay. Click on next and it will ask for us for the CD. So let us insert the CD. Okay. So now let me check if it's yeah it's populating. Click on OK. All right, so that's finished. Now we can proceed with our exchange installation. Exchange deployment. Install Exchange 2003 on additional servers. So we are done with this. Uh, we need not to perform any of this. So we can directly run the setup now. All right, so this installation is going to take some time, so let this proceed and I will just pause the video meanwhile. All right, so now we are done with our exchange installation over here. So we'll just exit out of here and exit. If you go over here, you go to System Manager, you go to Server, so we see over here, Exchange FE over here. So now to make it a front-end server, all I need to do is just click over here on this. If I go to um, General, this is where I need to click. This is a front-end server. Click on apply. To change the role of the server, um, it's asking us to reboot the server or to restart the exchange services. So I will just reboot the server. So just restart that. 